Hello everyone and welcome back to another Lexmoto ride out. Today we've got one of Lexmoto's best selling scooters with us, the Lexmoto Titan. It might not be winning any awards for its looks, but if you're after a reliable, comfortable scooter, then this is what's going to do the job for you. So let's jump on board, take it for a spin and see what the Titan's all about. Let's go. So here it is guys, the Lexmoto Titan, an absolute classic a staple of the Lexmoto lineup. Here we've got the black and red version, but there are three different color choices you can choose for the Titan overall. There's a black and blue and a gray and black. So let's jump on board and get this bike going. Lexmoto Titan. Let's do this ride out. So we were having a little bit of a discussion the other day about the name of the Titan and whether, whether it suits the bike or not, because it's such a prominent name. I think it definitely suits the bike. It is a titan of the scooter world taking on the big boys and doing well I'm gonna quick fire through a lot of the features of this bike i'm gonna do a top speed test with you guys i'm gonna do a maneuver test and see how it handles at low speeds and we're gonna do a brake test as well i'm gonna head into exit a city center and see how it handles let's see what this titan has really got before we get into any of the technical side of this bike just wanted to talk about the price and at the point of filming this the bike is up for 1999p under two grand for you know a mode of transport it's such a good price especially if you get this on finance you're looking at like 40 pounds a month i'm actually not exactly sure how much the train fares are now because i keep seeing in the news that they're going up and up but i'm pretty sure you'll be spending more than 40 pound a month either on train or or bus fares yeah you're kind of stuck to those timetables whereas getting out on a scooter you can run on your own time that is one of the biggest plus points about getting a motorbike and a, and a scooter is that you are in control of when you go and do your things as part of that two grand that you spend on this bike you'll get a two years parts and labor warranty included if there are any faults with the bike any manufacturing defects you're completely covered all you have to do is fill out a warranty form on our website and our in-house customer service team are here to help yet again <laughs> we're stuck behind a tractor can i get round this bad boy i reckon i can i'm free again for the time being heading out onto the open country roads already the titan making its way up the hills no problems yeah i don't even know what the top speed of this bike is actually i think we advertise it as like 50 or 55 miles an hour which does sound about right for this type of scooter it is a single cylinder air cooled 125 cc engine i think it's putting out about 7.2 horsepower or 7.5 these sort of scooters never sound like they have much horsepower but when you realize how light they are at 118 kilograms wet weight it's super super light so there's more than enough power just to get you off the lights get you up to a reasonable cruising speed if you do have a full license and you are looking to take a bike on the dual carriageway motorway then you're going to be looking at scooters above this sort of power range but anything around town cities the titan has got you covered all right so what are we sat at now 50 miles an hour no problemo oh god people all over the road here oh now what someone's binned it jesus he's in the head here yeah? what is going on you guys all right yeah. okay smashed into the back of each other even on this open flowing road these car drivers you know <laughs> distracted on their phones probably you do have to keep your wits about you and i think motorcyclists do generally have very good spatial awareness it's all about keeping your distances and checking a lot of checking actually check your mirrors check your shoulders check in front of you watch the brake lights right let's do a bit of a top speed test enough of this waffling here we go see if we can overtake Alright, there's 40, 45, 50. Uh, hitting about 55 right now. Yeah, we've got about 50, 55, 56. 
in this bike. This bike's actually done over a thousand miles now, so it's been running. And yeah, 50, yeah, hitting 60 there. So yeah, about 60 at a real push if you're going downhill a little bit. One of the first things you're gonna note about sitting on this bike is how comfortable the seat is. It is like a big, soft, gooey marshmallow. <laughs> It's really comfortable. It's it's really wide as well, actually. You don't feel like you're sat on like a a push bike like normal bike seat, which just seems to make its way into places you didn't know existed. This is a seat you could sit on all day long. Underneath the seat, actually, while we're on on that topic, we have some under seat storage. There is a little front compartment like you could put either some tools your gloves in there a couple sandwiches your lunch box then behind there's a deeper storage compartment not enough to put a full face helmet in unfortunately but a lot of people that get this scooter they'll put a top box on the back you can literally attach a top box straight to the luggage rack that comes standard with this bike and those top boxes I think most of them will be able to fit a full face helmet in and give you that extra space at the front down here actually we've got like a little glove box in here there is even more storage space for sandwiches again or cake that I like to carry around with me down between my legs here there is a little bag clip a bag hook they're actually so useful it's so easy just to put a bag between your legs here attach it on the clip and then again you have even more space where your leg basically just keep your bag from falling side to side and then the top handle of your bag or your shopping bag just goes through the clip it's just another little feature on there that you don't know when you're going to use it but when you when you do use it you'll be thankful and there it is the true benefits of riding a scooter skip the traffic wow check check oh my god check out this squid guys jesus riding around in shorts do not recommend that bet it feels nice though just being in shorts i just would not want that pressure on me on my head of if i fall off i'm gonna need a skin graft pretty silly i'm just feathering the throttle here and i'm able just to cruise and easily make the little overtakes that you need to within city traffic the throttle is actually really smooth on this bike too it feels good it's responsive it's immediately there there's no i'm not having to twist the throttle a quarter of the way around before it starts engaging Do you know what this bike needs actually? It needs one of those Lextech exhausts on it. I think it would just open it up a little bit. Sound a little bit mean as well. Bop, bop, bop. Oh no, I'm turning into like a 16 year old scooter rider. It's happening guys. Get me on an Lextech exhaust. I want it. <laughs> While we're skipping through the traffic, I'll talk about the brakes. So we've got hydraulic discs front and rear on this bike and a combined braking system. If you're not too familiar with a combined braking system, it just means that when you apply the front brake, it will give you a little bit of the back brake as well. It should help stabilize the bike in a more controlled way when you stop, like that. Then we have some telescopic front forks and twin rear shocks at the back, combined with this seat. It is a comfortable, comfortable ride. Very soft, <laughs> bounce test. It is passing the bounce test. I mean, I'm hitting over all these bumps here and it's just gliding over the top of them. I would have absolutely no worries whatsoever and sitting on this bike all day long. Moving back from the suspension, we've got a pretty standard dash display area up here with your kilometers per hour, which is slightly annoying, not gonna lie. But once you figure out where you're at with your kilometers into miles per hour, it's pretty simple and easy to convert it. You've got your fuel gauge in the middle and your revs on the right here nothing more nothing less everything that you need controls very easy and accessible down here twist and go throttle got your kill switch your 
electric start, indicators, your horn, and your hazard warning lights. Just the things that you need. Then on top of the handlebars, we've got these great mirrors. They stick out just the right amount, to be honest. I can easily see around myself and clear as day no vibrations on them uh, they don't stick out too far as well that you can't filter through traffic literally could not ask for any for more on these mirrors then you've got your front brake and your rear brake up here as well let's just dive down one of these roads let's do a brake test here we go guys from the sign on the left there's 30 oh jesus sharp oh, so we've only traveled couple meters there to be honest crikey i wasn't expecting that again <laughs> i'm always so shocked actually when i slam the brakes on i, th I think it's because you just don't do it that often that was a quick stop i'm gonna do that one again and brake oh god brakes you are passing the test right now yeah there's absolutely no skidding happened whatsoever then brilliant dead end oh while well, we're on it handling test let's see how well the bike does in short in a short turnaround i'm cruising up this road here 10 miles an hour tight turn look over the shoulder and just make it round lovely the bike feels really balanced agile with a short wheelbase that smooth throttle really does help to feather yourself around in tight spaces because it actually looks quite big it's got like quite a chunky sort of road presence to it you'd think it's quite heavy but it really isn't when you jump on it it's very very light you feel you're kind of sat within it not on top of it and, and having all your body parts around the outside of it it gives you that confidence again to ride confidently and safely and feel like you're not just gonna get mashed at the next second oh little dance that's it mate exo city center the gift that keeps on giving so this scooter it has a five and a half litre fuel tank again doesn't sound like much but for a little 125 cc that's pootling around most of the time it just goes and goes and goes i swear this thing just runs on air you're looking at like seven pound filling them up i don't know exactly how many miles you're going to be doing but yeah they do a fair old whack i think 125cc scooters are pretty much one of the most fuel efficient modes of transport that you can possibly get on so if you are looking for a cleaner alternative to driving to work every day in your big car then scooters are the way forward especially on days like today it's starting to feel warm finally it's getting hot in here let's stop that handling honestly feels so good on this bike there i can just chuck it into the corner not that you're going to be riding like this down the road anyway but it really does take the corners lovely i can lean into it throw it side to side straight through all the potholes all the delivery riders there checking me out that's right boys titan is in town the big dog so something that some of you might have noticed is this bike does have a kickstart as well actually and why would you need that it's got an electric start well sometimes it does happen that you know you run your battery flat you might park up with your lights on and leave them on you need to get going again and you're kind of stuck can't jump start a scooter so let's show you the kickstart if i put it up on its center stand this bike does have a center stand and a side stand so turn the bike to its on position as if you're trying to get it on here we go you ready and and she's on there we go took a couple of little kicks there but bike is running now i would be able to carry on and back on the road again then hopefully the battery will be charging itself right now and when you get back to it to turn it back on again it should be able to start on the electric start again i think it's the feature that everyone's forgotten about that could really save your bacon one day or save your mushrooms for all the vegans out there i think that's pretty much all we're going to do on the titan today i don't know how more in depth i can go on this bike i've had a great time riding around exeter city center <laughs> 
does anyone else just find every single little jump and just try and <laughs> make the bike jump or is it just me um but yeah i've had a great time riding around on this today i would be very very happy with this scooter if i uh, was using it to commute on short distance commutes one last thing for everyone that's looking for spare parts or their service in their bike our website cmpo.com houses all of the spare parts for our lex moto bikes there is literally pretty much everything on there and if you can't find it please just drop the customer service team a message and they'll do their very best to either dig something out for you or find you a part that fits to get you back on the road as soon as possible but yeah let's wrap this one up it's been a fun one guys and i'll see you on the next ride out thanks again see you soon Woo.